600 years ago, people living along the coast of Carrigan County, Ireland, started using a red algae, which became known as Irish moss, to make a jellied dessert, now the source of carrageenan, a food additive used as a thickener in dairy and non-dairy products, as well as a fat substitute, perhaps most famously in the failed McLean Deluxe. In 2008, I raised a concern about it. Uh, we had known for decades that you know, carrageenan had harmful effects on laboratory animals, but this was the first study done on human cells to suggest that carrageenan exposure may have a role in the development of human intestinal pathology. But you know, that was all five years ago, though. What's the update? Well, after the activation of inflammatory pathways was demonstrated in actual human colon tissue samples, uh, Europe pulled it from infant formula out of an abundance of caution. The latest suggests carrageenan consumption could possibly lead to a leaky gut by disrupting the integrity of the tight junctions that form around the cells lining our intestine, which form the barrier between the outside world and our bloodstream. This was an in vitro study, though, in a petri dish. We still don't know what effects carrageenan has, if any, in whole human beings. Some researchers advise consumers to err on the side of caution and select food products without carrageenan, accusing the FDA of ignoring its harmful potential. Personally, after having reviewed the available evidence, I continue to view carrageenan the way I view acrylamide, another potential but not proven hazard. Acrylamide is a chemical formed by cooking carbs at high temperatures, so should we avoid eating a lot of these foods, like the EPA suggests? Well, food safety concerns must also be considered in the context of dietary consequences. Where is it found the most? Already unhealthy foods. So sure, use your concern about the probable carcinogen acrylamide as just another reason to avoid potato chips, chips and french fries. But until we know more, I wouldn't cut out healthful foods like you know, whole grain bread. Similarly, I'd use potential concerns about carrageenan as additional motivation to avoid unhealthy foods, but until we know more, I wouldn't cut out more healthful foods, though I would suggest those with inflammatory bowel disease or other gastrointestinal problems try cutting out carrageenan at least temporarily to see if your symptoms improve.